sometimes you feel a mass in the midline of the neck and they move the time it seems to move. And the doctor says it could be a thyroglossal cyst. What is that? A thyroglossal duct cyst is an anomaly of development that involves the thyroid gland. The uh, beginning of the thyroid gland is at the base of the tongue. And during development, it descends down into the lower neck. There's a tract that extends between the thyroid gland and the base of the tongue called the thyroglossal duct. If this duct does not, is not fully obliterated, little cysts remain that form thyroglossal duct cysts that can occur anywhere along this tract. Characteristically, however, they occur right in front of the larynx. How does that approach if you do diagnose it? What has to be done? Well, typically uh, the diagnosis is thought of on a simple physical exam. Uh, confirmatory studies typically involve an ultrasound. And what will they do if they do find it? Uh, if, the, if a thyroglossal duct cyst is found, it should be removed. But excision involves taking out not just the cyst, but the remaining tract extending up to the base of the tongue. It's not quite a simple surgery sometimes, is it? The surgeries are complicated if there's been prior infection. Uh, when the cyst has become infected, it becomes adherent to the surrounding tissues and is more difficult to remove. And if you do the surgery, is that permanent? Does it ever come back or anything? In the large majority of cases, uh, the incidence of recurrences is quite low. Um, as long as the remainder of the tract is removed, extending up to the base of the tongue. Now, this also involves taking out a small piece of bone of one of the cartilages in the larynx. If this is not done, the incidence of recurrence is actually relatively high. How common is this? It's not a common problem, but we see it on a uh, regular basis when we take care of children. So I, as a pediatrician, have had two cases in 35 years. That's probably typical? Uh, for an individual pediatrics practice, it probably is, yes. And usually the prognosis once surgery is done, it's usually pretty good. It's very good.